10 bullpen arms inside of MLB The Show starts off with a bonus, and that's going to be Shohei Otani. If you don't have the starting pitcher, you might as well use the closing pitcher. The closing pitcher has 117 hit per 9, 121 pitching clutch, 93 control. In terms of the control on his pitches specifically, the lowest one is an 84 on the curveball, and then everything else is 90 plus. The reason why you want to use this card is because if you look at his quirks, not only does he have pitching quirks, but he also has hitting quirks as well and that makes him extremely valuable because you can bring in pitchers from the bullpen as well as the rotation to pinch hit so if there is ever a situation where you don't want to hit righty on righty despite the hitting attributes not being as amazing as the starting pitcher it's still good enough to go ahead and hang honorable mention number one is going to be daniel bard 123 hit per nine 125 pitching clutch with or without runners in scoring position he's gonna have almost max hit per nine so that is amazing he has a sinker a slider a four seed and a circle change so ideally he has the pitches that you want he's only missing a cutter the lowest control is a 63 on the circle change and then it's a 70 on the four seam 79 on the sinker 86 on the slider so not the best control in the world that's why he's ranked so low but he also does have outlier on the sinker and you all know velocity is what runs on the higher difficulties honorable mention number two is gonna be andrew Schaffin. 106 hit per nine 108 pitching clutch with 89 control is very good if you look at the pitch controls the lowest control he has is that circle change at a 67 and then everything else is a minimum of 94 why is he an honorable mention and not top 10 because he has no outlier on the sinker or fastball and as you all know speed kills on the higher difficulty honorable mention number three could easily be top 10 if you build your team around him which i suggest a lot of people should at least do up to the first tier one boost that's going to be Trevor Hoffman, 116 hit per nine, 120 pitching clutch, 82 control. The pitches that he has the lowest control with are going to be his curveball at a 62, slider 72, cutter 77, and then everything else is 90 and above. Now, he does not have any quirks that really stand out to us, but if you look at the captain boost, increasing the hit per nine and only using three non-closer pitchers inside your bullpen is very doable to get a plus five on those pitchers. Comment down below which position you want me to do next. The one that receives the most likes inside a comment will be the one picked. Don't forget to hit that like button, aiming for 200 likes. Subscribe button, 30,000 subscribers before the start of summer. And inside the description is the Twitch, Discord, social medias, and how to become a member. At number 10, we have ourselves Taylor Rogers. Taylor Rogers has a funky delivery, but the funky delivery isn't even what stands out to us. 125 hit per nine, with no runners in scoring position, that's max hit per nine. With runners in scoring position, he has 102 pitch and clutch, 76 control, and the lowest controlled pitch is the four seam at a 67, slider 72, slurve 79, and then sinker at 88. So he does not have the best control in the world, and he also does not have any quirk that makes his pitches come a whole lot faster so that is why he's placed so low but because we don't have a lot of great left-handed pitchers he is still very valuable for any team my apologies i miscalculated Shohei Otani was supposed to be the first honorable mention and trevor hoffman was supposed to be number 10 taylor rogers is number nine Devin williams is number eight 125 hit per nine 125 pitching clutch means maxed out hit per nines regardless of whether there are runners in scoring position or not the only unfortunate thing about Devin williams is that he has no real beneficial quirks like stopper if he had stopper he would be even higher inside this list also he only throws a screwball a fastball and a cutter with 88 control the lowest control he has is 70 on the cutter 95 on the four seam and then 99 on the screwball what makes him so good is the ability to go ahead and mix that screwball with the cutter those two pitches are deadly, especially on the higher difficulties since of the pitch speed differentials. Bob Nunn is making his appearance at number seven. 117 hit per nine, 125 pitching clutch. He has 91 control. The lowest control is the curveball at 83, splitter at 88, and then slider 96, fastball 99. He does have outlier on the fastball, so that outlier on the fastball is very beneficial because the pitch speed differentials are going to be a whole lot greater, especially when 
when the curveball comes in at 82 and the splitter comes in at 90, those two off-speed movements are the same. They're both vertical, so the difference in speed is going to allow you to maybe fool a lot more hitters or get them out in front, giving you a good two-strike count or a miss. Number six, Billy Wagner. Billy Wagner, 110 hit per nine, 125 pitching clutch. With runners in scoring position, he's going to be your guy. Why? 125 means hit per nine maxed out with runners in scoring position. In terms of quirks, he has outlier on the fastball and he has a four pitch arsenal or three pitch arsenal, you can say, because the curveball and changeup are both vertical movements, but they come in at a five pitch speed differential, which is very good. Not only does he have outlier, he also has stopper. So whenever your team is trailing, this Billy Wagner is going to play above his attributes. So whenever you are down one or two and there's a ton of lefties coming up this billy wagner is going to be a great card to use the reason why billy wagner can't be a lot higher is because he doesn't have great pitch control the control on his changeup is a 56 on the curveball 74 slider 88 and then four seam 96 eric gagne comes in at number five 119 hit per nine 125 pitching clutch 89 control lowest controlled pitch is the slider at a 74 then splitter at an 86 and then everything else is 90 and above Another great thing that Eric Gagne has is outlier on the fastball. That is going to be very beneficial, especially on Hall of Fame and Legend when it comes to blowing it past hitters. Now, let me tell you something. You see that curveball at 70 miles per hour? That curveball is probably one of the most dangerous pitches inside of MLB The Show because it will make your opponent look like a complete fool, especially since his Vulcan change has a 13 miles per hour speed differential and then the speed Splitter has a 16 miles per hour speed differential from the curveball. I'm telling you all, you will have to sit back and then sit back some more and then sit back some more to hit this pitch, regardless of whether you're playing on All-Star, Hall of Fame, or Legend difficulty. At number four, we have ourselves Gregory Soto with a 124 hit per nine, 113 pitching clutch, and then 61 control. Unfortunately, the control is the biggest downside that this card has, but if you're using pinpoint or even pure analog, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to locate corners. Now, when we're talking about the control of his pitches, Circle Change has a 25 control, four seam 57, slider is his best controlled pitch at an 87, and then a sinker at a 72. Why is this card so good? Because it has outlier on the sinker, it has that off speed that's horizontal, off speed that's vertical, and then it has a fastball to help you locate a little bit better when it comes to throwing something for a strike whenever you need something for a strike. Another reason why this card is so good is because we just don't have a ton of good left-handed bullpen arms or left-handed starters. So him being a relief pitcher, if you have Trevor Hoffman as well, it even makes him better. At three, we have ourselves Camilo Duval, 114 hit per nine, 103 pitch and clutch, 91 control. The lowest controlled pitch is the sinker at an 80, and then everything else is a 90 or above. Another beautiful thing about him is he has outlier too. So he doesn't have outlier on the sinker instead he has outlier on the cutter so he's able to mix that slider with the cutter a whole lot better since the cutter is the same movement as a slider where it's horizontal and then he can come back to you and give you something that goes towards you with the sinker At number two i had a very difficult time with him and camilo Duval, but i decided to go ahead and place him at number two just because he has better attributes 116 hit per nine 123 pitch and clutch 91 control if you look at the control of his pitches, four seam at an 83, sinker at a 92, slider at a 99, and then he has outlier on the sinker as well. So you're going to be able to mix the fastball with the sinker, no problem. And on top of that, the best pitch that he has is the slider and it's his primary pitch. So you're going to be able to work your counts versus righties and have them guessing, even though he is only truly a two pitch pitcher. Number one, like I said, we don't have a great deal of lefties. There Therefore, why not pick the highest overall left-handed bullpen arm that we have? Also one that has a funky delivery similar to Taylor Rogers. 125 hit per nine, meaning with a runner on first or no runners on base, max hit per nine. 112 pitching clutch, that is also beautiful. 85 control, the lowest controlled pitch is the circle change at a 72, slider at an 88, and then two seam at a 96. 
Only downside is that despite him having an outlier on the two seam, the two seam is usually not one of the best fastballs inside of MLB The Show. Usually it's either the sinker, cutter, or four seam, but when it's Josh Hader, for some odd reason, the two seam just works, and because of his delivery, it also helps you disguise it a little bit better. If you ended up enjoying today's content, don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell. We're aiming for 30,000 subscribers before the start of summer. Head into the description, check out the Twitch, Discord, social medias and how to become a member have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out